believe six of 32 teams have minority head coaches, and about 35% of assistants across the league are minorities. In recent years, the NFL has tried to find ways of improving those numbers with different seminars to attract new candidates. Tonight, we spotlight an area college coach who hopes his first impression to league coaches and executives will have lasting effects in future hiring cycles. Man, without a doubt. Inside Rogers Stadium. They say Trojan country. We're going to be really good this year, man. Tremaine Watson cannot wait for the upcoming season to begin. I want an opportunity to be great for the CIAA, to be great for Virginia State. Excited to once again be on the sidelines for the first time since 2019. But those are the opportunities that, that I'm looking for. Coaching has been in Tremaine's blood at a young age. My dad was a coach growing up. We, ripped, we, we went to, every, if there was a game, we were there, no matter who was playing. So I kind of knew it was going to be in my blood. But had second thoughts about making it a career. Growing up, I say there's not a chance I'll be a coach because I couldn't take the feedback. Like, I knew, I knew the type of player I was. I'm like, no way. After working with coaches like Virginia Union's Joe Taylor and Highland Springs' Lauren Johnson, Tremaine came to Virginia State to work on Reggie Barlow's staff. This staff is amazing because I've got two NFL coaches on this staff, you know, that I spent a lot of time with. They actually probably want me to leave them alone sometime. And his coaching career has scored touchdowns ever since. I, I lean on Reggie Barlow a lot. I lean on Vernon Dean. Once again, we're talking about playing at the highest level. Those guys have done it and won Super Bowls. This month, Tremaine was selected to the fourth annual NFL Black College Hall of Fame Quarterback Coaching Summit for the second year in a row. Offensive line guy, um, let alone the quarterback summit, you know, get invited back to back years, man, that, that, was, that was huge, you know. Um, but God don't make no mistakes, man. You know, you, you be good where you are and allow opportunities to open, you know, so it's, it's an excitement. The two day virtual summit will give Tremaine important network opportunities with NFL coaches and front office executives. Anytime you get an opportunity to be around guys that do it on the highest level, especially when you talk about minorities, offensive line coaches and minority quarterback coaches, uh, they're very limited. So when you get those opportunities to be on that platform with NFL head coaches, Power 5 head coaches, GMs, I mean, it's always a blessing. And provide the platform to show that an assistant coach from Virginia State and HBCU does belong amongst some of the best coaches and coordinators in the country. Every one of my business calls it every, it says every day, find a way to be better. Be 1% better every day. So if I live that lifestyle personally, every day something's going to happen for me. And for the university, man, Virginia State has been amazing to me. So I owe it to Virginia State to continue to excel and want to put us on a, pl a great platform. A quick postscript to this story. One day after we conducted that interview, Tremaine told us he was offered and accepted a four-week internship with the Minnesota Vikings. It will start July 23rd. He'll work with the offensive line. Tremaine hopes that will lead to a full-time position in the league. Now to NASCAR.